Hello, Anatomy students. In this podcast, I'm going to review the bones of the foot. The foot is made up of three groups of bones. These include the tarsals, the metatarsals, and the phalanges. The tarsals are seven bones that make up the tarsus or ankle of the foot. The tarsals are located at the proximal region of the foot. The posterior tarsal bones include the talus and the calcaneus. The talus is the ankle bone. It's the most superior of the tarsal bones. It's also the tallest. You can think talus being the tallest of the tarsal bones to help you remember it. You can easily see that it's the most superior of the tarsal bones by looking at the foot here in the lateral view. The talus has a curved upper surface that articulates with the tibia at the medial malleolus. It also articulates with the fibula at the lateral malleolus, forming the ankle joint. The calcaneus is the heel bone, and this is the largest and strongest bone of the foot. The remaining five tarsal bones are found on the anterior foot. This is the navicular, and it has a curved shape that resembles a boat. That's where the name comes from. Think navy, ship, or boat. Just inferior and lateral to the navicular is the cuboid, which is shaped like a box or a cube. The last three tarsal bones are the three cuneiform bones. These are smaller, wedge-shaped bones that are identified by their position in the foot. This is the first, or medial, cuneiform, and it is located on the medial side, which is the same side as the great toe. This is the second, or intermediate, cuneiform, It's called intermediate because it's in between the first and the third cuneiform. This is the third or lateral cuneiform, which is located more towards the lateral side of the foot. There are many mnemonics to help you remember the tarsal bones. One good one is cow, told, nora, milk, is like cream. Calcaneus for cal, talus for told, navicular is nora, milk is the medial cuneiform, is is the intermediate cuneiform, like is the lateral cuneiform, and cream is the cuboid. The intermediate region of the foot is called the metatarsus, and is made up of five metatarsal bones. This is similar to the five metacarpals that make up the hand. The metatarsals are numbered from one through five, from medial to lateral. The most medial metatarsal is metatarsal one, two, three, four, and metatarsal five is the most lateral. Metatarsal 1 is also directly under the great toe. And because it does most of the weight bearing, metatarsal 1 is thicker than the other metatarsals. Each metatarsal consists of a proximal base, an intermediate shaft, and a distal head. The phalanges, also called the digits or the toes, make up the distal part of the foot and are similar to the phalanges or fingers of the hand. 
the phalanges are numbered from 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From medial to lateral, the great toe is the first of the phalanges. It's also called the big toe or hallux. Any individual bone of the phalanges is called a phalanx. And each phalanx is made up of a proximal base, an intermediate shaft, and a distal head. This is very similar to the metatarsals. The great toe consists of two large phalanges, the proximal and distal phalanx. This is similar to the thumb of the hand. The other four toes are made up of three phalanges, the proximal, the middle, and the distal. The proximal phalanx articulates with the metatarsal.